Well, it is the final night of the Republican National Convention. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 7. I'm Ashley Kirkland. And I'm Chris Jacobs. Former President Trump alongside Middletown native J.D. Vance will officially accept his party's nomination. The former president is also taking the stage to address the packed convention just days after he survived an attempt on his life. WLWT News 5 anchor Mike Dardis joining us from the RNC in Milwaukee with what we can expect from the former president, Mike. Yeah, hi there, Chris, and hi there, Ashley. As you can tell, they're kind of getting ready here, rocking and rolling in Milwaukee, getting ready for the grand finale, night number four of the RNC. And former President Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, speaking to America tonight in a speech that should start at about 10 o'clock or so Eastern time. Ivanka Trump, his daughter, making her first appearance at the RNC tonight. His wife Melania will be here as well. The original speech, from what we understand, has been ripped up and tossed aside in light of what happened Saturday in Western Pennsylvania, where he came within literally millimeters of losing his life. So tonight's speech will focus more on unity. Mike, this is my sixth national convention, and given all that President Trump has endured, this place is going to be electric. It's going to be like a Super Bowl for Republicans. I'm just supremely excited. Can't wait to see the president again. Well, there's a great deal of energy in this hall tonight and during this convention. We have a unified Republican Party. But look, this is still going to be a race. I mean, we're going to carry the state of Ohio, but it's important that we get Bernie Marino sent to the United States Senate. Uh, it's important that Donald Trump, uh, J.D. Bass, win nationwide. That race is uh, still fairly close, so we got to work and yep. come out of here united and go win. Governor DeWine trying to push everybody forward there in that interview, as you heard. Uh, COVID kept Republicans from having a convention really uh, in 2020, but I was at the Republican National Convention back in 2016 in Cleveland. And I'm going to tell you, it's the same Donald Trump, but definitely a different Republican Party. The party didn't know what to make of them back then. There were a lot of different factions of Republicans, different heavyweights. Well, now it's everybody falling in line behind former President Donald Trump, including Marco Rubio and Nikki Haley. And they have had plenty of battles along the campaign trail. Now, both of them at this convention endorsing him. Tonight, a crucial speech. America is watching, and especially in light of what's going in on, uh, going on rather on the Democratic side with President Biden and all the reports that he might step aside as early as this weekend. Guys, we got you covered all night. Of course, when the DNC comes around in three weeks, we'll be all over that as well, just so folks at home know that we're going to be covering both conventions. For now, Mike Dardis reporting live. It's perfect ending, just as the song comes to an end and I can hear myself. I'm going to send it back to you guys. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Yeah, perfect ending <laughs> right there. All right, new plans from the convention floor tonight. We're learning that J.D. Vance will return to his hometown as campaign efforts kick into high gear now. Yeah, you can get tickets for a hometown rally happening at Middletown High School. That's on Monday. It's a big move uh, for Vance, who is uh, somewhat of a rising star, of course, in the Republican Party. The vice presidential nominee took to the RNC stage last night where uh, he showcased his human side in his acceptance speech. Our crews caught up with NBC's Samantha Guthrie. Savannah Guthrie, rather, she tells us Vance's roots here in Greater Cincinnati is key to the campaign. Well, it's interesting because he really did lean into biography. J.D. Vance is mostly known for this memoir he wrote, Hillbilly Elegy, which was critically acclaimed, came out many, many years ago. So he's obviously now he's a U.S. senator. He's only been a senator for about 18 months, but it felt like the campaign really wanted to emphasize those aspects of his biography and in particular his blue collar roots. Well, Vance will be speaking at Middletown High School next Monday at 1.30. Doors will open at 10 a.m. Tickets are now available on the Trump campaign website. And our coverage of the...